Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to combine multiple materials and image textures into one. So let's start by deleting this stuff and importing something with multiple image textures or materials. Okay, so now that that's imported, sometimes you'll see this weird cube-like structure around it or some other stuff. Just delete that. If you box select it, you should be able to find it. And again, the scale uh, can be kind of wonky. Okay, after scaling that up, I'm going to go to Material Preview. And I'm just going to select one region that I want to work on. Uh, the, whole, the whole mesh combined is about hundreds of thousands of tries, so that's not really feasible to work on. Okay, um, now I'm going to select this building. I'm going to use Control J to combine it. There we go. And now if I look in the materials, I can see that it has about uh, 10 to 15 materials. So to fix that, we need to open up the UV editor. And we're going to give it a new UV map. And I'm just going to call it UV combined. Now uh, I need to take this and I'm going to do a smart UV project onto the new UV map. So you're going to see it looks a little funky, uh, that's fine. We're going to go to the old UV map, and now we're going to go into the shader editor and go to the principal Baker plugin, which you can find just by uh, doing a Google search for it and installing it. So now we're going to detect the maps, choose color map, uh, scroll down a bit. For output settings, we're going to do 2048 for a little bit of a higher quality. And we can't forget to go to our cycles render engine. It only works in the cycles render engine. Uh, now we need to save the file so we get a relative file path for the output. And finally, we can bake. Once it's finished, it shouldn't take too long. <clears throat> it's got saved to building mesh. Oh, something I forgot to mention is before you do the bake, make sure this is selected with the gray highlight and the old UV map is on set to active render. That's very important. Okay, so we have the new one. I'm just going to duplicate this for reference so you can see the difference between the two bakes. Uh, I'm going to go to the material, delete the old materials so we no longer need them, add a new material, and in the new material, I'm just going to add an image texture. Assign the color space color, and I'm going to open the new um, output building mesh 00202color.png. And you'll see it looks kind of weird. That's because we haven't set our new UV to active render. And there you go. That's it. So if you compare the two, you can see they look pretty similar. And this one only has one material with one texture, and this one still has a bunch. 
Okay, thanks, and I hope you found this helpful.